Okay, this is gonna be part two to the blush. I guess I need to talk quicker because I'm just rambling and my time ran out. So those were pretty much all my MAC blushes there and a few of the NARS and I had two more from Makeup Forever. And they're the little ones. They can double as an eyeshadow. So that's why they're in these little ones, but they're called powder blushes. And like I said, makeup forever numbers always rub off for me. But this one is a reddish brown color, and this one is like a tangerine ish color. And like I said, I have no idea what number they are, but I like both of them. Like I said, I went through this hard blush phase first. Now, this is the browner one, and then I go to orangier one. That's kind of cute. You can see it. So, have those, and I have other blushes that's mixed in with palettes and stuff, but I'm probably not going to show that one. But I also wanted to hit on some of my drugstore blushes because not everybody wears MAC NARS and Makeup Forever. I've just noticed that MAC and NARS are probably my favorite. Makeup Forever, too. Those are probably my favorite three blushes. I've tried Chanel and Dior and a lot of other ones. And they look ashy on me. Like super, super ashy. Now, drugstore. I'm sure y'all have heard of these already. But these black radiant blushes are the bomb. My favorite would have to be this soft honey. And just black. Look at that. It looks just... uh. But when you put it on, it has this beautiful, like, matte terracotta. And it goes with a glam up, a glam down. I've used this one a whole lot. I've used, between this and format is when I just don't know what to do with blush. I use that. And it has plum sorbet. And these are only about three bucks a piece, too. And this is like a maroonish color. I don't use the little brushes that come with it. Spice Ginger. And that's the pinkier one. And it has the red one, which is on the same level as Exhibit A or what's the other one? The Merrily. Look at that. This <laughs> and granted you better not wear no blush. You can use it as an eyeshadow because it is pigmented. And like I said, it's drugstore. So this good finds walgreens walmart um a lot of them around my area don't have them but if you have them in your area definitely get them and i like the milani's those the little ones those are pretty good and i think i have all of those my favorite one is the luminous i think it's called let just pull out the whole drawer and I have this black opal one that I use. It's like a fusion powder. It's a real natural looking one again. And then the e.l.f. It has that duo. And I got another one from e.l.f. too with the new one. I haven't worn this one yet. I've swatched it, but I haven't worn it. And it's in Blushing Rose. But it came out pretty good, so... Looking forward to wearing that one. And I have a whole bunch of these little cream blushes. I hadn't tried all of them. They came from the dollar store. And I had one before. And I really liked it. Like back in the day. And then when I seen them at Dollar Tree. It's like a dollar. So I got every color of them. And this is a Revlon one. And Peachy King. And this one is really pretty. It's kind of shimmery. Not glittery, but shimmery. So you got to be careful with it. But it's a really, it actually shows up as just like lightening up that. It's not really contouring or darkening. It's just lightening. It highlights it. And I have NYX and Pecan. And I have another NYX too. I just, it's probably in one of my other things. I have makeup kept in two places. I keep some in the bathroom and then some in my beauty room. And there's a lot of freaking blushes. I know. <laughs> this is another of the Milani in Sunset Beach. Too cute. I have a few Wet and Wild. And Elf 
CoverGirl, these are nice too from CoverGirl Queen. If you can get those bronzers, I really like those too. And I think that is it for blush. This is pretty much more bronzers now. So, it's part one of my collection. And I don't know if you see from another video, but I keep my makeup in these little things here. And they have 10 drawers on them. My boyfriend put it together, so it didn't seem like it was too hard to put together. They came from Office Depot, and they were about 30 bucks, 30-something 30 bucks a piece. I'm not sure if they still have them. They had them in pink and black when I went. They may have other colors, or they may not. And this was probably in about two months ago, I guess, when I brought those. I don't know. I can't remember. But that is it. Oh, one more thing before I show y'all. With my hair, you probably noticed that I don't have on a wig, which is rare because I love my wigs. But look, it's starting to grow. It's growing back now. Like, look at that. I was starting to stretch it. You know, I like my shrinkage too, but like, look at it growing. See? Like, I can't get enough of it to stay down. But it's growing back. I did a cut in April, May, so I'm liking it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it now. I want to get the tree braid weave in it, but I just got to find somebody around here to do it. So thank y'all for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know. You know, I can do more swatches if you need to see colors, but hopefully this just gives you an idea of what you're looking for if you're trying to find different blushes just give you an idea of some of the good ones out there for women of color and women of non color too because a lot of these blushes can be used on anybody so thank y'all for watching and i'll be back soon with part two let me know what y'all want to see next if we're going to do foundations eyeshadows lips so that way i can just kind of go on order what people want to see if not i'll see y'all probably tomorrow okay bye